Hi, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today, we just want to show you how to create a consumer login for either the KW Agent website and also the KW Consumer Mobile app, also known as the Buy and Sell app, just from a consumer's perspective of what that is going to look like, the email they get in response, and then also for you as an agent, what that looks like within your command. Now, creating this consumer login has a bunch of perks, not just for the consumer, but also for you as an agent. So we highly recommend checking out the Consumer Mobile app course or class that we have listed on our YouTube channel. We teach that class every month live on a Wednesday, and but we also have the archives as well on our YouTube that you can check out. It goes over all the details for you and what this will enable you to do as an agent and leverage so much in your command system. So we highly recommend checking that out. In the meantime, this is just a quick tip class right here, quick tip video rather, just to help show you how to create that login. And so as you can see, we're right here on the KW Agent website. And in, in the top right-hand corner, you'll see Login and Sign Up. If I were to go ahead and click Login, this is if I had already created a login to this agent's website or their app. Again, the actual login and password for a consumer will work in both places. And you can create this for your consumer. Just know that you would need to actually email them their login and password so that they would have it. Um, but you can do that as a concierge for them. But as a consumer coming to look at this, this is what it would look like if I were going to log in. I would enter my email and my password that I had already created. And I also have an option to change that password if I do happen to forget it. But let's say it's your first time coming in as a consumer, you would click sign up and it does give some perks over on the left hand side of signing up and on the right hand side it asks for first name, last name, email and password, but they also need to check that they accept the terms of use and privacy policy. There's a thing called saved searches that you can do for your clients, your consumers that actually will update them um, through email, but also on the app and website of all the different listings that come on and off the market that match their criteria, like three bed or two bath, water feature, whatever they're looking for. And you can create those for your consumers. However, they will not receive the emails from those saved searches until they've created this consumer login because checking right here is what gives us permission at KW or gives KW permission actually to send out those emails to the consumer. So they do need to have this consumer login created in order to receive those emails. So again, this is what it would look like if they sign up. For us, we're just going to go ahead and log in here since we've already created a login. And just know that if we were signing in for the first time, or signing up for the first time, we would click sign up and it would give us a screen that says, you're all set, you're good to go, hit continue. And when we do, this is what the KW Agent website would look like. Looks pretty similar, right? But up here in the top right, you'll notice some things are going to be personalized for this aid, for this consumer, including their initials in the top right hand corner that now take the place of that sign in and log up log in and sign up button so you can tell that they are logged in and to find out more about the personalization that's here within these options now on the website definitely check out that consumer mobile class it will show you all the details so from a consumer side that's what it would look like signing into the website if they were actually on the app they would come to the, they would download the app. They may be able to search in the app initially without logging in or signing up. However, if they try to save any data, reach out to an agent, whatever it is, it will always prompt them back to this particular screen to either sign up or log in. Again, if they've already created a login on your website, they can also use it here on the consumer app and they would just enter that email and password and log in from here. But if they had not created it yet, they would be prompted with this screen to sign in or sign up, excuse me. So first name, last name, email, and password. Same thing they just saw on the website as well with that button down here at the bottom to click the check mark um, just to make sure that they do accept the terms of use and privacy policy. Now, once they have successfully created that login, they will get an email and this is what it would look like. It's automated through command. For you as an agent, you don't have to do this. It will automatically go out for you, but it just lets them know that that consumer has created 
created an account on your Keller Williams website or your app. And then also let them know that you will be in touch with them very shortly. And in the meantime, gives them options to search for homes, but also to download your app, like if they had logged in to your website. Um, now they also have the button to download your app as well that would be branded to you. That's from the consumer perspective. For you as an agent, you also get a notification here within your command. We had signed up earlier, so you can click notifications and see that this actual contact has logged in and you can view that contact. Now, if I had just signed up, that notification would actually say you have a new connection, new agent site connection. It would say the consumer's name and would still have that hyperlink within the notification to bring you to their contact profile right here within your contacts tab. Remember, there's no phone number because it only prompted that consumer for their first name, last name, and their email address, but all that information is here. It also marks them as a lead, letting you know that you need to have that real estate conversation with them still. And over here on the right, you can actually see that that agent site registration was created. It gives a timestamp. That is where that contact actually created that login for the very first time on your website. Um, it's just letting you know that that account has been created. As they log out and log in, those will continue to show on that timeline, as well as when they view property, like property, share a property, request a showing of a property, all kinds of things will show here within that timeline. Again, check out that consumer mobile app and it'll show you all the different perks for the consumer and for you, the agent, of actually creating this consumer login. If you have any questions at all, please reach out to us at support at Scott Leroy Marketing and we'll be happy to help you. Last thing I just wanna show you is right here, this green check mark with the circle around it. This is what will appear beside a contact's name in your contacts tab once they have created that consumer login. Um, so you can go back to your contacts here. You can actually use the filters option on your contacts to actually sort through and find the contacts that have this site connection right beside their name so you know who's using your app. And you can also customize your columns right here to view when they were last active. So you can see recently active and when they were last active on either your app or your website whenever they logged in. So very handy, very good to have good conversations. Also to check on folks that may have previously been using your app, but maybe they're no longer using your app. Be a great conversation starter just to give them a call and see how they're doing and check on that. Again, if you've got any questions, support at scottlorymarketing.com. Thank you for watching.